It took this man about three years to make this album. Uh, between now and when he dropped Long Last ASAP, which was his debut album, about two and a half, three years ago. Um, off top, you can just tell he took a lot of risk with the album. Not so much risk, but he experimented a lot with the album because the sound is definitely different than his first one. Um, just really right off the gate. His subject matter too is really different just right off the gate. He was more fashion, drugs, women on the first album, but now he's kind of getting into a more, like I don't know, like introspective, self-analyzing, really just self-aware position. It's like, you can kind of tell he's been doing acid because that's what result, what that results from. Um, but yeah, and it just, subject matter wise, you can really tell, you can tell, you can tell he's been thinking about what he's going to do for the next album. Um, and just really straight through, the album is dope, uh, from start to finish. Schoolboy Q uh, feature track, Electric Body, is crazy dope. Only thing about it is, though, the hook is kind of weak. Like, really weak, but lyric-wise, it's dope. Uh, again, the non-rap features on the album are really strong. Main ones being James Fauntleroy and unexpectedly Rod Stewart, who, again, people are not going to be too familiar with. Because one, it is outside the genre of hip-hop, and two, is he's an older artist who got a lot of respect back in the day, uh, but not a lot of rap fans are gonna really be aware of who he is. Um, but his sound on the album is incredibly dope. Um, another really dope track on the album is M's, which came out, um, I think a couple weeks before the album actually dropped. And then the Lil Wayne verse came out on the actual album. And Lil Wayne comes back, again, sounding incredibly sober, and like he actually cares about rapping again. Like he's somewhat hungry. And I think we can low key in a really messed up manner thank Birdman for that because I'd be hungry too if your fifth album, The Card, is not, nobody knows when that's coming out. Um, but outside of that, yeah, it's in terms of problems, we cooks every now and then, and maybe, maybe song length. But outside of that, all in all, the album is crazy dope uh, from LSD right down to. M's right down to the incredibly unexpected Pimp C feature with UGK because again if nobody knows Pimp C rest his soul has passed and has been passed for quite some time now so how he pulled the strings or how him and Bun B got together to make that happen is phenomenal and everybody's verse on that song was just great uh, but outside of that yeah if I had to say anything buy that album because again Rocky's best work Really different rap wise and just sonically really great. And just, yes, just buy it. Buy it. Um, once again, my name is Larry. Um, Twitter, LGod77. Instagram, Sunrise L. And Facebook, Larry Little Jr. Outside of that, be easy.